And I want to make this very clear. This is not on the VAs of Genshin Impact. I have no idea who the hell is in charge of running the live stream. And then whoever was in charge of giving these people these fake ass dialogues when you can even tell some of them haven't even played the game. It drove me nuts. Hey, what's up, boys? I'm gonna just be real with y'all, perfectly crystal clear. I haven't played Genshin Impact in two days, which is actually the longest I haven't played Genshin Impact in probably well over a year. I've taken about 24 hours or so off. I mean, generally, I always try to get on to at least do my resin, but uh, everything that's been going on with the live stream and the handling of the voice actors has honestly kind of made me pretty, pretty damn sick. And I'm gonna say this right now. I know what it's felt like when my back's been against the wall and I had pretty much nobody defending me. But I already tried to make this a point where I let everybody know that what happened with the two point live stream was not the voice actor's fault. But apparently that notion and that message has gone on deaf ears amongst the community. So I am going to be in their corner real quick and I'm going to explain to you exactly what it means. And I'm gonna be real. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be saying this. This is generally con contractual mumbo jumbo NDA type of shit, but I've never been one to kind of sully my word over a contract. I'm gonna say what I need to say regardless of what the fuck happens. So I'm gonna let y'all know why this is not the voice actor's fault whatsoever. And the fact that once again, once again, Twitter has taken to their fucking Gen Z fucking dipshit knuckle dragging ways and is once again attacking the wrong people for the wrong reason, okay? The fact that I have seen death threats to VAs is a fucking joke, okay? I wouldn't blame them if they've gone completely off the platform. But that shit makes me sick. And I know I would have, I know I would have wished I had somebody who would have just taken my word when my back was against the wall. And I said this in a previous video, if I see someone coming underneath fire for no reason, and it's not their fault, I will defend them regardless of the shit that it gets me in. So here we go. We are going to talk about the travesty that was the 2.1 live stream and why it was not the voice actor's fault. So in case you don't know, this is pretty much how contracts work, especially with big businesses and sponsored content, okay? So they give you a contract, they sign you underneath an NDA, and they say, you can't say this, you can't do that, you must act like this, you must act like that. Meaning that when you are given short notice, and I am underneath the assumption that the VAs were swept into something, told go do this live stream because we're having technical difficulties, they had no idea what were going on, but they knew the parameters, they knew the restrictions, and it was nerve wracking, not only because of a time sense disaster, having little to no notice of this, and then also giving parameters that they must abide by or underneath penalty, okay? That's kind of, that's quite a sweaty shit, okay? You watch M-Test videos, okay? You watch content creating videos. You see when they go on sponsors and then all of a sudden you're like, why the fuck is he talking like this? Why is he acting like this? This isn't the content creator that I know. Why does he seem so weird? Like for example, there's a reason why I don't do that much sponsored content. Sure, I'm doing now more than I've ever done, but to be honest, every single time I've done a piece of sponsored content, besides maybe one or two, I try to be the most I can of myself as possible because, you know, at the end of the day, if I lose a sponsorship by withholding my integrity, it is what it is. But there are some people who have to do what they have to do to survive. You should never, ever, ever guilt a content creator for doing sponsored content. Besides Red Shadow Legends, because I fucking hate that game. <laughs> I fucking hate that game. But, like, sometimes people gotta do what they need to do to survive. I know 90% of you fuckers out there are running ad block right now. Okay, listen, they do a bit of sponsored content, you just skip past 60 seconds and you continue watching the goddamn video. Why do you gotta guilt trip these motherfuckers for trying to get some money to support their fucking family? Jesus Christ, it makes me sick, okay? Let me walk you through a couple of things that I've done for one of my previous contracts about a year to a year and a half ago, okay? I was doing a sponsorship for insert big company name here, and they pretty much said, here's what we're going to need you to do. You are only to refer to this game in a positive light. You are only to say good things. You may not swear. You may not curse. You may not do anything lewd or sexual. You may not reference A, B, C, D, E opposing games. 
okay? You may not use the term waifu. You may not use the term hentai, okay? And here's the thing. Y'all might not know this. I'm a complete fucking degen, okay? I'm a complete fucking degen. So all of a sudden, when you say, oh, you can't be lewd, you can't be angry, you can't swear, you can't curse, can't do this, can't do that, well, now a huge chunk of my personality is completely fucking gone, okay? It's completely fucking gone, and I don't know what to do, and they say, two days left to post, or fuck it, two hours left to post, make something, submit it. I sounded like a complete, lifeless, just fucking shilling motherfucker trying to just make a buck, and I felt disgusting. My community thought I was disgusting, and I was like, all right, well, not going to do that again because it was fucking gross, okay? So it's very terrifying, the parameters of the things they tell you you can do and that you can't do for every single video, okay? Now, I'm going to be real. The VAs, once again, a lot of this is just merely speculation, but my take from the whole situation was that there were six VAs, okay, who loved the work they did for the game. Some of them played the game, some of them didn't. You can clearly tell, okay? I'm gonna say this right now. It's not a voice actor's job to play the game, okay? It's not even a voice actor's job to watch the show. They can if they like, it might help their work, but honestly, they're busy people. They can do whatever the fuck they wanna do, okay? Technical difficulties. They had to go in. Once again, this is just speculation. They got six random BAs, okay? Told, hey man, wanna do a live stream real quick? We're underneath in some, we're going underneath some fire right now. We need some help. Can you get in there and save the day? They say, sure, why the fuck not? They're about to go in. Okay, can't say this, can't do that. You want to sound happy. You want to make jokey jokes. Here are some jokes you can read. And it just came off as a absolute robotic cringe fest. And it sucks. But at the end of the day, if someone gives you a bad script to read, that's not on you if it comes out bad. That goes on whoever fucking wrote the script. Okay, listen. There's been a lot of questionable choices over what has happened with Mahoyo, okay? And Genshin Impact as a whole. <laughs> Do you think whoever was in charge of the anniversary rewards deserves a fucking raise? What do we get for the for the one year fucking anniversary? People were hoping for a free five star. Level 42 get a free Ayaka, okay? Would it really have been that bad? If the free-to-play players could have chosen one of the standard five stars, like Deluc, Chi Chi, Mona, Kaching, whoever the fuck, Gene, whoever the fuck else is on there, to use in their account, one five star after a year of playing? No, probably not. But instead, we're getting to fucking ten pull. So what is that? Nine debate clubs and a fucking Barbara? Great. And the worst thing is, is that you say, "Oh, that's not gonna happen." It is gonna happen to somebody. They're gonna get complete dog shit and something they don't want. Okay, so the anniversary makes fucking back ten a fucking ten pull. That's embarrassing. Okay. Let's be real, okay? Mahoyo as a company, Genshin Impact as a company, majorly make good decisions. But this one was just really bad. Is it gonna ruin the fucking game? No. Are they gonna learn from their mistakes? Yes. Is this gonna happen again? Hopefully fucking not. But the thing is, is that I'm seeing a major disconnect to where how the people in charge of how the live stream should run their live streams, I don't think they actually get what is, how they should actually run the live stream. So I'd like to throw my hat into, and, and once again, I know that I will never, ever, ever, ever be invited to be on the live stream because I'm a man who has the balls to say things that nobody else has the balls to say. And that gets me in a lot of shit pretty much constantly. But as a man who loves to entertain people, I think I would know how to hype up a community and shill a couple extra copies of Genshin Impact and get a couple extra people to roll on some fucking units. Okay, so once again, please, 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 no hate on the VAs. It is not their fault. They did the best job they possibly could. Unfortunately, it was still fucking terrible, but what can you do? Literally, what can you do? It's unlucky rubber ducky, dude. If somebody were to fucking go out there and tell me, hey man, make a M for mature fucking speech in, in three minutes using only the lyrics from the Barney's Playhouse theme song, I couldn't fucking do anything anyways. So who knows what the fuck they were told, okay? Now I'm gonna say this right now. If I were to ever have any say in how the live stream should be run, it should not be, <laughs> I like this character. Oh, I like this character too. Oh my God, is there treasure? I sure hope there's treasure. Like, that's fucking cringy, dude. And even just, even just 
fucking thinking about it makes me want to puke, okay? Can we just talk like we're normal fucking human beings? Because I'll be real, normal human beings are cool. Let me give you a shot on how I think things should sell. Once again, this is completely off the top. This is the best thing I could have ever thought if I were going to be doing the 2.1 live stream. Okay, guys, so today we have a very impressive, very important live stream for you guys today. And as you know, we just finished 2.0, which marked the release of Inazuma. Now, thanks to all the people who loved and supported our game. We genuinely appreciate every single one of you, and we hope to get your continued support. But we have a couple things to talk about. So, with the start of Inazuma, a lot of new characters were introduced to our world. Uh, Kazuha came in 1.7, we have Ball in 2.0, we have Yoimiya, Ayaka, you know, just to name a few, but here's the one that I really want to focus on, and I want to know what you other guys think, just pretend there's other voice actors here. So we all know that Ball's coming for the 2.1 banner, okay? And we also know that Ball and Kazuha don't really have the best relationship. So I need to ask you guys, what on earth is Ball going to have to go through with Kazuha to mend their relationship. How are they gonna get back to a good spot where the Traveler can have both of the characters on their team at the same time? Because let's be real, okay? The whales, they're gonna roll on everybody. They're gonna force these two characters to coexist. But the question is, gameplay-wise, maybe they can, Mahoyo might be able to slip in there and just be like, you know what? They're getting together because why not? But I wanna ask, what do Kazuha and Ball have to go through? in order to reach some type of understanding, okay? And I would do things like that, the way that the lore ties into the game, how certain characters are gonna interact, what characters are coming on the banner and how they're gonna interact with the other characters, what's gonna happen with the new islands, what characters are gonna be sent to go to the islands, and just talking like a normal human being. Once again, what I did was incredibly sloppy. What I did was completely off the top. Yes, if I had any preparation whatsoever, it probably would have been better. But even once again, the point remains, when the voice actors were given no heads up, what the fuck were they supposed to do? Let me tell you, nothing. They did the best they could. Unfortunately, it wasn't good enough, and now the wrong people are being blamed for the wrong things. So if you get one message from this video, please stop shitting on the fucking voice actors. Thanks for watching.